Hello everyone, Julie here. Welcome back to my channel. So first off, I would like to start by thanking Fresh Pet for sponsoring this video. Fresh Pet is a healthy pet food company and I will be talking all about them later in the video. And I will also be talking about tips on fostering. But before we get to that, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at IsleJewels. All right, let's go ahead and check out my fresh pet review and fostering tips. So first off, I'd like to introduce you all to Scarlett. She is a rescue dog. I really noticed that it helped that I kind of gave her time to get familiar with her new environment. And that is huge for when you're fostering a pet. So my first tip is let them get familiar with their new environment. If they're coming from the shelter, obviously them coming to your home is a big change for them, so give them time. So let them walk around, let them sniff things, let them check out their new surroundings, because this is a big new home for them. Even with Scarlett, when she first came over, I really just let her walk around and I didn't hover over her. That is a huge thing. I just kind of let her do her thing, sniff around. She did that and within five minutes she was over hanging out with me, laying in her bed. So my next tip is definitely give them a comfy and safe place to stay, whether this be a crate, a bed, or a furry little rug. Um, I've actually given my fosters a great, luxurious, amazing bed, but they preferred and felt more safe on my little furry rug, so I let them stay there. Um, that's one really thing too, you need to be flexible. If the dog doesn't want to stay in the bed or is scared of the crate, make sure you figure out what place they feel the most safe in because that will really help them kind of acclimate quicker to their new environment, will make them feel more comfortable, and in the end will make you feel more comfortable. So my third tip is definitely make sure the dog gets outside enough and it gets enough exercise. Now you may think because they were in the shelter and cooped up means they're kind of used to being in a small area, but that is not the case. They need to get out, they need to get exercise. Also, this will help with them not having any accidents inside. If you take them out every couple hours, obviously they will be going outside and not inside. With that being said, you guys definitely need to be flexible with them having accidents inside the house. It is going to happen, especially if they come from the shelter. A lot of these dogs aren't potty trained, so definitely need to be flexible, not get mad at them, it's gonna happen. But if you take them outside and get them exercise regularly and get them out there, they will probably go to the bathroom outside. Now, my most important tip is to give your dog the best food possible. And that is where Fresh Pet comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and put little Scarlet down so I can talk more about Fresh Pet and all the amazing things about it. So obviously my go-to food for fostering is Fresh Pet. First of all, I love that their meat from their chicken to beef is USA raised. Also, their fruits and veggies are delivered to their fresh pet kitchen daily. And that is huge. Obviously, when feeding a pet, I wanna give them the best ingredients possible, and that is why I go with fresh pet. Also, I love that they have a ton of different options. Obviously, they have chicken, that is what I have here, but they also have beef, so they have different options in the meat department, and then they just have a ton of fruits and veggies in the food as well. So if you guys have a picky foster pet, you can give them a ton of different options and see what they love. But let me tell you, I haven't had one foster pet be picky with any of Fresh Pet's food. They honestly love it all and it's probably because all the ingredients are so fresh. So I usually get the chicken, um, but they've never had problems with the beef, which is also great. Also, I really feel like ever since I started switching over to Fresh Pet as the food I use when I foster, I just feel like the pet is happier. Um, I feel like they have more energy. I feel like their coat and skin is healthier. I feel like I see less dandruff. So I just feel like the food also makes them happy on the inside and the out, which is huge. I just love to see the dog's attitude and everything completely change. I really, really feel like Fresh Pet has a lot to do with that. So if you are fostering, I would highly recommend Fresh Pet. And if you are wondering where to get them, you can go to the link down below, enter in your zip code, and it will show you a bunch of locations that carry Fresh Pet near you. You can also go to your dog refrigeration section at your local grocery store and get them there too. 
And that is it for my tips for fostering and my fresh pet review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found some tips for fostering. Also, I want to say once again that I would highly recommend Fresh Pet if you are fostering. I just love that it has all the fresh ingredients. I love that all my foster pups love it and I would just highly recommend it. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and also check me out on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!